kill Mr. Beast. In Fortnite, of course. Of course. He's got a new skin, check it out. Here's a new problem with the freaking Red A, which is all the AI art that's come out, and I can't tell. I can't tell. I could be like, that's amazing. You drew that. That's so cool. But I'm like, that's probably AI. Oh, it literally says AI! All these artists crying about, oh, but they're replacing my art. We're all going to be replaced with it. You buy a car in 2018, I said that. And then at 2022, I accidentally got a car. Oopsie. Oopsie. It just happened. Thanks. Yes. This is a more better reaction, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you, you lost something you love and you had nothing else. Admit it. This I just shrink everything down. You know, I didn't realize that the curse mark could transform one's body to such a grotesque degree. Sasuke, I wonder, does that curse mark change you like that too? Sasuke? Hey, are you even listening to me? That woman. A woman. If a woman comes in. He maintains this rule when he moves the camera on a dolly. The camera moves directly forward, backward, or sideways along these specific axes. These two rules define many aspects of Anderson's styling, especially in his more recent films. Within them, he has some flexibility. He allows the camera to tilt up and down as long as it remains perpendicular to the background. To understand the why behind Wes Anderson's youth films and style, here Wes recounts a story to Matt about an argument he had with his agent over the curtains in Rushmore. In Rushmore, we had these curtains with the monks projected on them, and my agent, who I love, was like, yeah, you don't need them. That's just a show-off thing. It doesn't help. It takes you out of the story and the reality of the movie. And I can tell there's a curtain on a movie set there because it looks like a real thing. It's supposed to look like a real thing. I know, but I can tell there's a curtain. Hello, here's a quick little Patreon advertisement in the middle of this video since I'm packing an order. I only have two patrons and at the time of recording this video, the monthly sticker was Kirby eating instant noodles. So that's what you see me pack in here. So I have a tier. Uh, every month we do a random uh, sticker. We all vote on it and then I do a, a new sticker every month and I also have a tier that includes a sketch card. So that's what you see me pack in a Kirby sticker and a sketch card. Shout out to my two patrons that I have right now. If you want to join the Patreon, it'd be sick. Link is below. Thank you for your time. And uh, I included a little handwritten sticky note. Hopefully I can upgrade those soon. But right now, we're on a budget. So thanks for listening to this. Keep on uh, watching the vid. Have a good one. Peace out.
You smacking over there, huh? Smacking on that bacon.